Louise Laverne was born in 1995 in Paris City, France. Her adventurous spirit makes it easy for her to meet new people. Apart from that, she also has dreams of becoming a veterinarian since she was in high school, because she really likes horses. She's already planning her future, including choosing a college. In 2013, 18-year-old Louise graduated from high school and she moved to Belgium, settling in Liege City, Wallonia, Belgium, to pursue her dreams. She enrolled as a student at the University of Liege, a public university belonging to the French community based in Belgium. This college is considered one of the best universities in the field of veterinary medicine in Europe. Even though her parents in France belong to an upper-middle-class family, her status as a student in a foreign country means she cannot just buy a house in Belgium. Moreover, her parents had taught her to live independently so she didn't have much money to buy a house. Her only option there was to rent a cheap apartment, as most students do. After several weeks of searching, Louise finally found a studio apartment in a relatively affordable area of campus. She also started to build relationships and get to know many people. She also met a young man from France named Pierre Arthur who also studied at the same campus. Louise had no idea that Pierre lived in the same apartment as her. Since that introduction, they became closer and began to fall in love. It seems that Louise's days at college with her boyfriend were really happy. But, this happiness was disturbed by disturbances from her apartment neighbors. Sunday December 6, 2015. In the second week of December, exactly that Sunday, Louise called the owner of the apartment building in an anxious voice to report what had happened to her at that time. Louise was in her own apartment and busy cleaning her room. But while she was busy with her work, she heard a noise like someone knocking loudly on her bedroom door. As she approached the door and opened it, she was faced with a middle-aged man naked. That man was shocked because Louise opened the door, and he immediately ran to his apartment room. Louise was also shocked to see that naked man standing in front of her door. When she was to close the door, she found a piece of paper under her floor containing a short sentence. Basically, that man wrote to Louise about her feelings and asked her to have adult relationship. He's known as Patrick Vanderlinden, 54 years old, and lives in the same apartment. After the owner of the apartment building heard Louise's report, he tried to call Patrick, but it didn't work. The next day, Patrick called him back and denied all the accusations made against him. He claimed that he could not have behaved inappropriately, and that person was not him. But the owner of the apartment building warned Patrick not to forget the letter he left in front of Louise's room. It is possible that at any time the handwriting will be matched with Patrick's handwriting. Having no other choice, Patrick finally admitted his actions and apologized. But he instead blamed alcohol as the cause. The next day, the building owner arranged a mediation schedule between Louise and Patrick. At that moment, Patrick apologized personally to Louise and Pierre for his actions, but he still blamed alcohol for influencing his mind to commit this indecent act. Louise also accepted an apology from her neighbor. After everything was finished, they returned to their respective apartments. Wednesday, December 9, 2015. Only a day after their mediation, Louise and Pierre returned to the police station to report the incident. Even though Louise had accepted her neighbor's apology, it turned out that Louise was serious to report her neighbor, and she wanted to imprison Patrick for his behavior. But one member of Liege City Police could not accept Louise and Pierre's complaint, because according to him, the incident was not a serious incident. He explained that he did not find any criminal elements in Patrick's behavior. The policeman even advised Louise and Pierre not to escalate the situation by reporting Patrick to police. But, police still gave Louise the option to come back to police to report if something like this happened again. Finally, Louise and Pierre agreed, then they returned to the apartment. Knowing that Louise's complaint had not been accepted by police, the owner of the apartment building began to worry about Louise's safety, so he asked the other apartment tenants to keep an eye on Louise and asked for Pierre's telephone number so he could be contacted at any time. Meanwhile, Patrick returned to work and continued to regularly attend therapy sessions. Actually, what made the owner of the apartment building worried about Louise's condition? Who really is Patrick Vanderlinden? Patrick Vanderlinden is a 54-year-old man and already has three children. Unfortunately, Patrick's background is very dark, making the owner of the apartment building worried about Louise's safety. Patrick was an ex-con who had just been released from prison on parole several years earlier. It was reported that in 1990, Patrick, who at that time worked as a taxi driver, assaulted, 
beat and attempted murder on a woman who was his passenger, after she refused to have adult relationship with Patrick. He was reported and went to prison until 2002. After being released from prison, Patrick returned home to his wife to raise their three children. Not long after, Patrick and his wife were arrested by the police in 2003, because they had molested their eldest teenage daughter. News circulated that not only did they abuse their daughter, Patrick and his wife also offered their daughter to a philanderer. Surprisingly, they was released from prison in 2004 after spending less than a year in prison. To prevent cooperation between Patrick and his wife, the court separated the couple and divided custody of their three children. They will stay one week with their father and the next week with their mother. But, in 2006, during the Easter holidays, Patrick acted out again by harassing and trying to his eldest daughter. Patrick went back to prison and was sentenced to seven years. But, in 2010, after serving four years of his sentence, Patrick's application for parole was granted and he was required to undergo psychiatric therapy indefinitely. That's when he started living in a studio apartment and frankly told the owner of the apartment building about his past. He also emphasized that he no longer has contact with his three daughters. He tried to rebuild his life better by finding a new job, that's working in a shopping warehouse. After a short internship, he also couldn't hide his secret, and finally he also told his boss about his past. But, his boss understands Patrick because he thinks he has changed. Since Patrick worked there, he quickly became a model employee and assisted his co-workers who needed help. Over the years, Patrick seemed to live his life normally. He no longer throws tantrums, in fact he is very dedicated to his work. Although he had cut ties with her three daughters, but his youngest daughter, Madison who 18 year old, tried to get back in touch with Patrick and tried to rebuild their relationship. Madison explained that her father had really changed, her father only focused on work, he was no longer even looking for another woman to start a new relationship, but what Madison saw was only temporary. After Louise lived in the same apartment building with her father, her father started acting up again. The owner felt anxious about Louise's condition. Finally, what he feared came true. Two years after Louise's complaint to police, everything still seemed normal, but no one expected that Patrick would do something more terrible than that. After undergoing psychiatric therapy sessions required by the court for seven years, in 2017, Patrick decided not to undergo therapy anymore, because he felt normally. Interestingly, the doctor who treated Patrick just left him alone without taking action or doing anything to prevent Patrick's decision. He continued to go to work as usual, until finally in May 2017, he had a mild stroke and required him to rest in the hospital. After he was released from the hospital, he was required to rest in his apartment for two weeks. At that time, he was not accompanied by anyone, so he began to become isolated and lonely. Unfortunately, after some time, Patrick realized that he was still suffering from psychological problems, but he did not want to admit it or tell anyone, including his own daughter. Monday, October 9, 2017, the first day for all students to return to learning activities on their campus. But Louise, who was 22 years old, and in her fourth year of college, did not go to class that day. Louise's friends felt strange, because Louise wasn't her usual self. She is a girl who has high perseverance, so she will not miss class without a clear reason. Louise's classmate calls her boyfriend, Pierre, to ask where Louise is. Strangely, Pierre admitted that he did not know where his girlfriend was, even though they lived in the same apartment building, because he had not returned to his apartment since Saturday. Pierre then tries to contact Louise. Unfortunately, his efforts were in vain. Eventually, they all go to Louise's apartment to find out what's going on. What they found there was heartbreaking. Louise lay covered in red liquid on the floor with no signs of life. Police officers were called to evacuate Louise's body. The examination result showed that Louise had been dead for more than 12 hours. Initially, the police suspected Pierre as the perpetrator, but during the interim investigation, Pierre had strong reasons for his whereabouts, so the police remembered Louise's neighbor who she had reported two years earlier, that's Patrick Vanderlinden, who was the person who attracted the most attention to the police in this case. It didn't take long for the police to immediately arrest Patrick at his place of work, and he immediately confessed to all his actions. The day before, on Sunday the 8th of October 2017, Patrick's mind began to become confused. He admitted that he couldn't control himself, so he drank a bottle of alcoholic drink until he got drunk. He took off all his clothes and went to Louise's room. In a semi-conscious state, he knocked on Louise's door. When Louise opened the door, he immediately lunged Louise in her room. 
He also strangled Louise until she fainted, and that's when Patrick took Louise's kitchen knife and punched it into Louise's chest twice. He immediately left Louise's lifeless body in her room. After Patrick returns to his apartment, he realizes that his socks are stained with red liquid, and could be evidence for the police. He put his socks with other rubbish and threw the bag in the rubbish bin. After the arrest, police searched his trash can and found his socks in plastic trash. Due to this incident, his daughter was very disappointed, because she felt cheated by her father. She believed that her father had changed, and her father promised to visit her in November 2017. In fact, her father was arrested again by the police for more serious crimes. The Belgian public, who knowed the incident, immediately reacted and demanded that Patrick be severely punished. Not only that, people who knew that Louise's report about alleged harassment by Patrick two years ago had not been responded by the police, ended up asking why Patrick was not immediately arrested at that time, even though he was still under parole. This case has become a scandal in itself within the Liege City Police Institution. Finally, the three police officers who were on duty when Louise filed the report two years ago were relieved of their duties. They were put in prison. While waiting for Patrick's trial, he was put together with another prisoner who also violated the same case. However, his cellmate was released first, so Patrick was alone again. Patrick's mind was confused again, and on June 23, 2018, Patrick was found dead in his cell, because he had cut off his own genitals when no one was looking after him. Meanwhile, the police who handled Louise's complaint in 2015 were found guilty in a code of ethics trial for not taking precautions to arrest Patrick. The officer is 60 years old, sentenced to six months in prison in court. This case is truly unfortunate, and people think that if the police had responded to Louise's report to arrest Patrick, perhaps Louise would still be alive and she would have become the veterinarian she aspired to be. Thank you for watching and see you in the next case.